I see myself being a mom in five years. Brooklyn wants a lot of kids. Hi, I'm Nicola Peltz Beckham, and today I'm going to let Elle ask me anything. Okay, my ideal day would be binge watching a TV show in bed with Brooklyn and my dogs. Brooklyn and I have a problem where we cannot just watch one episode. Like if we're into a show, we just love watching the entire thing. And the last one we watched is from scratch. Unbelievable. And we weeped on the couch for hours and hours and hours. It's really good, but sad. You have to be prepared. We were not prepared. Oh, we loved White Lotus. Murray is everything. And then we just watched the first episode of the second season, but again, it's very hard because there's only one episode out. It's like, we need the rest, like now. <laughs> Loyal, honest, and determined. My most prized possession is definitely my family something people don't know about me. About a month ago, my best friend and I, we can't call it, it's not a rescue, but we started rescuing dogs from the euthanasia list at kill shelters. Right before they planned to be euthanized, we grabbed them out of the shelter and tried to get them adopted to incredible families. We've been doing that for like a month now and we've saved like over 30 dogs. <laughs> Newlywed life is amazing. Brooklyn is truly my best friend and obviously my love. So being able to live life by his side has been amazing because I feel like even if I'm going through something bad, I always I have him by my side. Brooklyn, I guess, always gives me goosebumps. <laughs> My favorite smell is vanilla or, or rose, one of the two. I see myself being a mom in five years. Brooklyn wants a lot of kids. <laughs> Someone came in here to interview me and they said, he said eight, and then the other person <laughs> said 10. So I'm like, okay, well, it's growing by the second. I have six brothers and a sister and I love, I love big families. I love being around my family and all my siblings. It's like my happy place for me. Yeah, I would love a big family, really. I would say my love language is quality time. My biggest pet peeve is lying. I cannot stand it. My favorite memory is, well, I guess two. Finding Dorothy's like look for the first time, like putting it all together, the makeup, the wig, the costume, and looking in the mirror for the first time. The next one would be is just being her for the first time on set. When I got into the costume, I really felt changed. I feel most creative preparing for a character. I have so many questions about the character and a lot of the times they aren't in the script. So I love to journal about everything and create a history that might not be in the film. So then when you're in a scene, it's like you have a history of the character. So this is the first time I've played a real person and, and to be able to find out everything online, whether it's you know pictures, interviews, or how she walked, or how she held herself, or her voice, everything about her was, was really amazing to be able to find all of that. I loved doing that. My dream dinner guest is uh, Angelina Jolie. The first movie that made me really fall in love with acting was Girl Interrupted. I would just love to talk to her about everything. She's so talented, but she's such a good person. She's so charitable, and I just really look up to her. I hope to get our 11 dogs adopted <laughs> and raise more money for our fundraiser <laughs> before the end of the year. My favorite outfit I've ever worn is my wedding dress. I got to go to Rome, uh, design it with 
everyone at Valentino and it was just a dream. My dad took me with my brother and my mom in Brooklyn, but then my dad in Brooklyn did something else obviously because they couldn't <laughs> come into the fitting. Just being able to go to Rome and go to a new place that I've never been and, and design a dress with my mom and it was just like magical. My mom, I look up to my mom. Anytime my friends meet, or they meet my mom for the first time and then they see me again, they're like, where's your mom? Why isn't your mom around? Everyone just much rather hang out with my mom than me. <laughs> my favorite makeup product that I cannot live without is a Serge Luten lip liner that has been sold out everywhere. It's like a nude. I don't know the shade number, but it's it's the nude one and they stopped making it and it's just the best ever. I always try to find something, a similarity with them all, but I really do feel like Dorothy because I think people may have treated her a certain way, maybe because the way she dressed or looked maybe didn't take her seriously and I, I can relate to that. Being in this industry is so tricky because I've been acting since I've been 11 or 12 and you hear no so many times and you feel like discouraged so many times. So my parents always say just like believe in yourself and I know that sounds silly and people say it in passing but really you should just really believe in yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>